Here is the Beatitudes. This is the Sermon on the Mount. I'm going to do a brief video. This is what Jesus was teaching to a crowd, and he had one of the most famous sermons in recorded history. Blessed are the poor, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are those who mourn, for they will be comforted. Blessed are the meek, for they shall inherit the earth. Imagine that. It's not the strong, arrogant. It's actually the meek. If I told you I'm meek, would you believe that? Blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness, yet are persecuted. I'll tell you that in a minute. Blessed are the merciful, for thou say shall be sown mercy. Blessed are the pure of heart, for they shall see God. I've seen God. I've seen the great 2012 My Encounter End of Time Bible Judgment Day. It's all real. I've seen God. I'm an angel though, so angels are allowed to see God, right? Blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called sons of God. It was not just Jesus who was an only begotten son, you know. Blessed are those who are persecuted for righteousness' sake. Boy, oh boy, I could tell you the stories of how I was persecuted and thrown in jail for three weeks for simply telling people I was an angel and giving psychic readings. <laughs> Imagine that, huh? For theirs is the kingdom of heaven. I'll tell you another example. Picking up litter, throwing it away, you'd think that would be a good deed, right? A lady yelled at me and wanted to call the police on me for picking up litter. Why do they persecute the righteous? I would understand like going to jail for doing something wrong. What about when you're doing something right, like most of the Old Testament prophets? In other words, here's the last of the Beatitudes, probably most important, but you will not understand this unless you're a God believing out there preaching on the you know in the name of God and everything. Blessed are you when people insult you, persecute you, and falsely say all kinds of evil against you because of me, me being God. Rejoice and be glad, because your great is your reward in heaven, for in the same way they persecuted the prophets who were before me. That was Jesus speaking. So, I want you to look at this background picture here. This is artwork created by a genuine angel. This wasn't me. Look at the mural of the wall here, on the wall behind me. That's my true form. That's my true angelic form that you're looking at behind me here with a pyramid above the angelic wind, wings, bluish wings. See, you're also hearing me and seeing me here physically because I'm still human just like you are, but I'm ascending into a different time zone and dimension even while we sit here on earth. I am Daniel, I am the reincarnated prophet of the Bible, and I am an incarnated angel. You may not be able to see the wings right now, but you will eventually. And I think we should end the video with a prayer, why not, huh? Now, you may ask yourself, what does an angel look like, right? Well, I'm not much different than you, I have a sense of humor, I'm human too, so I understand what the whole deal is. As a matter of fact, I still have to wear glasses. Guess where I got these glasses from? A Lions Rotary Club bin for glasses because I can't afford glasses. So I have to find them for free. It happens to be my prescription too. Isn't that amazing? I know what you're thinking. Physician heal thyself, right? Okay, let's begin with a prayer. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as in heaven. As it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. I am rushed, aren't I? We must say this slow and with intent and feeling. Thy Father in heaven, thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Come, Father, come, Christ, come, Christ, come, come, come. Without delay, come within and around and everywhere present. Amen. Over and out.